So I wanted to touch on the last uh, question, which I don't think the Democrats have ever really explained properly. Is it why uh, Joe Biden uh, had to go? I mean, we all know why, but they've never really admitted it. And Brett went to this very question is, you know, Joe Biden um, was making a lot of mistakes in the end. Um, he was... And he, and he still is, when you see him, even at a campaign rally yesterday. But it was put to her by Brett, you know, did you think that he was making all, all the right decisions? Why didn't you say something earlier about his ability to serve? Again, I don't... I, I think that was an obvious question. That was always coming from Brett. She didn't seem to have a, a good answer. Look, this is the obvious question. Everyone in America saw it, everybody knew, and what it's done is just put zero trust in anyone. We've heard this a lot. People say they're just all politicians. I don't trust any of them. And why would you? And we've seen this from the Harris campaign recently too. They've upped their rhetoric criticizing Donald Trump and they've been putting out these clips, statements, comments, trying to make out that Donald Trump has dementia and saying, oh, look at him freezing on stage. Look at him being forgetful. Look at him going on these incoherent ramblings. And the problem is if any of that were true, the problem is Joe Biden's still the president. They still haven't acknowledged that there's anything wrong with him in the way he's aged or his cognitive abilities, and he's still doing that job now. So that was the question that Brett Bayer needed to ask, ask, and he did. And it was noticeable that she didn't have a succinct answer for it. They mm. don't have one. And it is costing them trust on the campaign trail, which is at an all-time low from people we've been talking to. Enthusiasm's not high. Mm. They're not believing anything they're being told. And there's a lot of distrust for how the media has covered it for the last few years as well, because that it's not just politicians that have been saying he's been fine. So this is what we've been seeing, and it was absolutely a great question to ask. And I think this will be one of those defining interviews of the campaign, where there's been so few of these kind of interviews. This will be a turning point. Yeah, I think so as well. Annalise, uh, it looks pretty nice there in Georgia at the moment. We will let you go before we uh, do that. <laughs> um, as you say, one of the most defining interviews of the campaign, absolutely. We're just a couple of weeks out from November 5. Um, again, this is all about the base in many ways. It all comes down to, to turnout. I found this an in interesting strategy to go on Fox, but I've got to say it was half an hour of really not giving much away. Yeah, she was fending off a lot. Do you think that was a strategy going into this or did it just take her by surprise? Well, no, I think they would have known exactly what they were walking into. Brett mm. Bay is a very well-known anchor with a long history of um, just that kind of very no-nonsense interviewing. But I, I think what it shows is they knew that whatever they're doing isn't working. This is the biggest indicator. When you see Barack Obama coming out and chastising black men for not supporting her because they're, quote, not feeling having a woman in charge, there has been a change of tone where they're going more on the attack with Donald Trump. And Donald Trump's looking a lot more relaxed. And polls aren't everything. Polls aren't always accurate. But there's definitely a sense that it should not be be this tight mm. in the lead up to election day, that things shouldn't be this way. And the momentum's going in Donald Trump's favour, which is the last thing you want in the last few weeks if you're the Kamala Harris campaign team. So the fact that they've done this at all absolutely is a very noticeable strategy. Mm. Her supporters are going to love it. They're going to put little clips of her saying, um, if you stop uh, interrupting me and let me finish, I'll answer your question and just say that <laughs> it's an example of what a hard time she's given by the media. <laughs> but uh, really what this shows is they know they need to cut through to voters that they haven't yet.